Hey, what's up guys? It's Beast on my bringing you another episode of Disconnected, and the subject of the day is time, and uh, I'll get into that in a second. First off, I'd like to say that uh, we got some Black Ops 2 gameplay here. I wanted to mix it up again, bring you guys some more variety to the gameplay in Call of Duty. So yeah, we got some Black Ops 2 gameplay. I'm going to be using multiple weapons. You'll first see me use the M27, and I think I switched to the Scorpion Evo and maybe even the MP7 later on. You'll see it, and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm also playing with another commentator. I will leave a link to his channel in the description and an annotation on the screen. It's Jess Piccoli. Go check him out. He's got great content. But on to the subject. So, I had a... Uh, this has happened last weekend, I believe. This was last weekend in Tennessee here. We get uh, we get some random weather, and as you guys know, it's you know still the beginning of this year, obviously. So, the cold weather is pretty, uh, pretty common occurring. You know, it's pretty common that you get pretty uh cold weather you know even in tennessee and uh you know occasionally we'll get some uh we'll get some uh warm weather spouts and stuff like we'll get a uh, you know a quick little burst of i guess uh, days where we do have warmer weather that's uh, more manageable i prefer warmer weather over colder just you know for a lot of reasons simply because uh you know i don't like cold weather as much it messes with my allergies sometimes too and you know how it goes you know like your nose will be running and stuff and it just it it's not a good time for me to mess with my allergies and I feel like I get sick more in the cold weather opposed to the summer, even though I have worse allergies in the summer, but it's just how it goes. But last weekend, I decided, uh, you know, like I had a lot of stuff to do anyways that weekend. I didn't really have much time to game or play any video games, do any videos really, and all that stuff. I didn't really have much time to do that. You know, I just had a lot of chores and, you know, all that stuff to do, errands to run, uh, just, you know, real life stuff. And uh, since I was already, you know, doing that stuff and I spent a lot of the day, you know, I woke up early. I think I'm just going to start it off with like Friday of last week. Uh, you know, I started off Friday and stuff. Didn't really uh, do any video gaming or anything. Pretty much the whole weekend I didn't. And, uh, you know, on Friday, you know, I just kind of uh, sat around, uh, you know, outside when it started feeling really good. Friday and Saturday was the days it felt like, you know, 70 to 80 degrees. So it felt really good. And I just kind of sat outside and... Uh, I you know, really enjoyed the weather, just enjoyed myself, just sat outside, it was really peaceful where we lived too, where we sat outside, uh, we got a nice little, you know, neighborhood, so it's, it's pretty chill, you know, I sat on my deck, you know, just got, uh, catching some rays by the sun and all that, and, uh, you know, just kind of relaxed, uh, just actually just sat down and relaxed, and I know what you're thinking, well, you know, you said you play video games, you know, for fun, and I do, I do play video games for fun, that's very correct, but I feel like sometimes it's good to just, uh, you know, disconnect yourself and unplug, uh, from just electronics in general, I know it sounds, uh, you know, very ironic coming from a gamer. Like, I'm a heavy gamer. Like, I play, you know, games all the time. I like to play all kinds of games. You know, I'm not just a, hey, let's play a few matches and hop off and just go back to my regular lifestyle and, you know, all that. No, I mean, I usually like playing games a lot. That's just how it is. But, uh, you know, it is fun to just kind of unplug and disconnect yourself from a lot of electronic devices. And, you know, it's just, it's a nice break to have, I feel like. It's a nice... Uh, relief sometimes when you just don't want to play a game and I feel like uh, it makes it a you know, much more enjoyable experience when you do go back to the game you know you feel a lot more refreshed after your little uh, break that you had you feel like uh, you can enjoy the game even better I feel like that a lot uh, I've said this even in previous commentaries for those of you who stuck around that long I've said I feel like sometimes when I do take a break whether it's uh, you know going outside or just taking a break from video games and doing something different it feels like uh, it's a lot more of a refreshing experience. You feel like um, when you go back to it, it just is like, wow, this, this is actually really cool. You know, this is fun still. And it just keeps it more refreshing instead of repetitive over and over again, you know, experiences. You know, the repetitiveness of anything can pretty much, uh, you know, get very dull and boring uh, for pretty much anything that, you know, happens in your life. That's just how we as humans work. I found out that, uh, you know, repetitiveness, uh, like I said, it just gets very dull, very boring. And, you know, like I said, we just don't like that. And we lose interest after, you know, a while over time and stuff. Uh, but I know what you're thinking, you know, why did you choose the subject time? Well, when I decided to go back in after, you know, taking me a little bit of a break, I went back in inside and I looked at the time and it was still like 1 p.m. Now, usually my regular day schedule goes like this. I wake up, go eat me some breakfast or whatever, maybe hop on the internet and watch some videos on YouTube, maybe go play with my friends a little bit online, of course, on the video games. And, uh, you know, the day just seems to go by just like that. You know, you don't, uh, you know, I mean, I understand that, you know, there is a you know long time for the day to end, obviously. But it seems like your perception of time, it just flies by. And I know what you're thinking, well, time flies by and you're having fun. But I think that 
sometimes in this video game realm, this internet realm, this technology realm that we go into as gamers or just people that are enthusiasts of, you know, just the technology world, it's like a whole nother world in uh, a sense that, you know, you just completely disconnect yourself from the actual reality of the world. And I understand that obviously it's real, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you're communicating with people, you're communicating with real people and stuff like that. I understand that it's real life, but you guys completely understand, hopefully, what I'm talking about, what I'm saying is, you're not actually physically in contact with people. You're not physically doing certain activities, really, for the most part. It's all virtual, and you get lost in that world, and you lose perception of time. And I feel like it just seems like these days just get shorter and shorter as technology advances. And that's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It can be, you know, good and bad. You know, it can be both beneficial and um, non-beneficial. But I feel like... We need, as you know, as people to enjoy our lives and get the most out of our lives. You know, of course, this is all personal preference, but I feel like sometimes it is just a good idea to disconnect yourself and just say, you know what, today I'm not actually going to play any video games. And you can hop on maybe and play some video games every now and then, especially like if you're a, you know, heavy duty gamer like myself. It is a big change. Uh, you will notice a significant difference in your perception of time. I went back outside after that after I had me some lunch and when I went back in it was only still like 3 p.m. and there was still so much of the day left and it really got me thinking like you know these video games you know you it seems like you wake up you maybe eat breakfast or something maybe a snack you play a little bit you eat some more you play a little bit you know just depending on how much of a gamer you are and then you can go to bed at like a very ridiculously late time like I've stayed up to you know I've had all nighters before playing video games I've had times where I've stayed up to like three and four in the morning I know that's you know that's ridiculous that's not a healthy lifestyle and that's why I wanted to change it that's why I've been getting you know trying to be as fit as possible and trying to get really active and I feel like that's just such an improvement in my life and it's just made a huge difference and I'm really happy with the choices that I made with that uh, you know it feels really good to like I said just make a change like that and know that you've done it because of yourself and you were the one that made that change and uh, it's just a great feeling um, you know especially as like well the thing is with time I know a lot of people say you know you just don't have a certain time to do this or that for example I will go into another thing I was talking to some people earlier uh, some of my classmates at school uh, you know they were you know a lot of people were saying you know they had noticed that I like uh, lost weight and stuff and they were like you know did you like lose any weight and stuff you know I, I'm gonna get on the subject really briefly and say like you know they were just asking you know what did I do and I just simply said you know I cut out the you know soda simply and then I just cut on a uh, pretty manageable uh, workout schedule you know I just try to do what I knew I could handle uh, you know what was more manageable and a lot of people with the time that they say they don't have in the day look you can always make time but you have to be dedicated honestly like it's it's mentally it's all mental you know you have to mentally be you know ready to take on the next challenge you have to have in your mindset what you want to get done and make it happen you can't just uh you know say what's going to happen you have to make sure it happens and you have to have it planned out and all that good stuff and uh you know that that's how i did that that's how i did my uh you know the physical fitness thing i just said you know what i'm going to do this uh, i've had plenty of times in the past obviously where I fell off the fitness track and you know I felt like sometimes I didn't have enough time in the day to go work out you know and that's the problem with I think a lot of people too uh, that get these gym memberships look you don't have to have a gym membership I didn't have a gym membership and I lost about 30 pounds I was about 180 and now I'm about 150 you know when I dropped the weight but now I'm about 155 almost 160 now I'm getting up to the weight of my desired weight and I feel like a lot of people just think that they have to go to the gym and I think that they are like well I just don't have the time to do that look you have to know what is suitable for you and you have to know what is you know like best for you and what you can handle and what you can manage of your time but just choose your time wisely it's all the best advice I can give you guys and I'm sure a lot of you probably already know this and you've probably already heard this but honestly if you really think about it and you just kinda of plan things out and just kinda of relax and just slow down and uh, choose your time wisely like choose exactly what you want to do and what you think is most beneficial to you and just make the best out of the little time that you actually do have and you can have such a great experience in life and that's what i found out recently through my years but i hope you guys enjoyed this commentary you guys of course have an awesome day and i'll see you in the next one